Today, the South Carolina Senate gave their final okay to remove the Confederate flag from the State House grounds. That bill will now be taken up by the House of Representatives there. But as our Jason Lamb explains, another Confederate flag battle could be brewing right here at home at the Fairgrounds Speedway in Nashville. Racetrack officials say they're going to be keeping a close eye on fans at the racetrack this weekend to see if the Confederate flag issue that's been popping up at other racetracks around the country will also show up here. The air conditioners may be the only things making noise out at the fairground speedway in Nashville right now, but come Saturday, that will change with the track's first race since the loud debate over the Confederate flag recently resurfaced. It's a symbol of the South, uh, it, and, and stock racing originated in the South. The promoter at the Speedway says there are no Confederate flags around the racetrack, but he says he doesn't know what to expect when fans arrive this weekend. We may not see, even see a symbol of a rebel flag, and then, uh, and then who knows, there may be literally hundreds of them in the grandstands. That's why officials at the racetrack say they'll be keeping a close eye on the crowds this weekend after NASCAR, which is not affiliated with the Fairgrounds Speedway, asked their fans to leave their Confederate flags at home. Since it's now become a problem, it seems, uh, there'll be people probably reacting either way to it. Right now, there's no rule, not even a suggestion, from the Fairgrounds Speedway for fans not to bring Confederate flags to the track. But they say that could change, depending on what happens Saturday. But if it becomes a problem of some sort, uh, then we will certainly look at it. I'm sure the board, I'm not a board member, I don't vote, but uh, we'll see what the board would think about it. For now, officials say they're proud to just fly this flag over the track, and they say they don't anticipate any problems, but they want to keep the track a fun place for everyone. We appreciate everyone coming out here. We certainly don't want to do anything to offend anyone. The Metro Fair Commissioner's Board oversees the racetrack. They would have the final say over any rule change about Confederate flags on the track. Reporting from the fairgrounds tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD.